established in 1908, Swindon Bowls Club is one of the oldest sports clubs in Swindon. It is based near to the town centre and hosts six outdoor rinks. The club is proud of its long and successful history. There are other bowls clubs in Swindon with long histories too. New members, young and old, both bowling and social, are always welcome to the club, which provides a qualified coach on hand to teach interested parties the sport of bowls. The club competes in local and county bowls matches, as well as internal club competitions. From those early beginnings, the club has evolved into a sports and licensed social club where members and their guests can relax in pleasant and convivial surroundings. Hi, I'm John, and welcome to John's Box, and to part 4 of 10 in the series uh, Swindon's Sporting Heritage. In the previous editions, we looked at hockey, rugby, and speedway, although rugby was the first of those, in fact. So today, it's a uh, summer sport, uh, actually fair weather sport, uh, sport of bowls um, and Swindon has got a long tradition in this sport um, Swindon Bowls Club uh, history as you've just heard in the introduction uh, stretches to over a hundred years old um, I think it's 1908 so it's even older than uh, some of the other clubs like the Speedway Club for example yeah. um, I did mention in the previous edition at the end about uh, Swindon Crown Green Bowling Club. It uh, has nothing to do with Swindon. There's a village in Staffordshire um, called Swindon and they have a Crown Green Bowling Club. Now the difference between bowls or bowling and Crown Green, Crown Green Bowling is that the uh, actual lawn in Crown Green has some kind of bulge, what they call a crown. So the idea is to bowl above the crown. Maybe it's more difficult technically, but that's uh, the difference as I, as I also discovered. I didn't even know there was a difference there. Uh, there's also indoor bowls, but that's another matter. In Swindon, in fact, there are many bowls clubs, at least a dozen or so. Uh, but uh, because uh, this particular one has got Swindon in the name, we'll focus on it, on its history uh, and on the club today. So sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the video. Swindon Bowls Club was founded in 1908 when Edward VII was king and Herbert Asquith was Liberal Prime Minister. It has been one of the most prominent clubs in Wiltshire for many years. The man who was the driving force behind the founding of the club was Major Dixon, who wanted the club to be for the use of the railway workers, the railway works being the principal industry in Swindon at the time. The first green was located to the rear of the County Ground Hotel, near Swindon Cricket Club, but in 1911 the club relocated to Shrivenham Road with a new green laid on hand donated by the prominent Swindon local landowner named Goddard. The original pavilion consisted of two old GWR railway carriages jacked up on to supports and was affectionately known as the Bunk. This served as the pavilion until the 31st of August 1968, when, with the assistance and advice of British Rail staff, the bunk was moved into the car park at the side of the green. This created the space required to build a new pavilion, which was constructed by Harry Wilmot Builders. Harry Wilmot was the treasurer of the club and also took his turn at manning the bar at lunchtime. While the new pavilion was being built, in order to retain the necessary alcohol licence, one of the railway carriages remained in the car park and served as the bar. Because the supplies of water, electricity and gas had been cut off prior to the move to the car park, the carriage had to be lit by candles. The new pavilion opened for business on the 25th of January 1969, with an official opening on the 22nd of February of that year. 
The furniture was supplied by the Whitbread Brewery. Swindon Bowling Club was an all-male establishment until 1966, with women only being allowed onto the premises on one night a year, that being Christmas Eve. It is said that if a woman wished to talk to her husband, she would have to do so through a hatch at the end of the railway carriage. However, in 1966, women were accorded the right to become social members, which allowed them to use the bar but not the green. Nonetheless, in April 1968, the ladies' section of Swindon Bowling Club was formed and this was during the club's Diamond Jubilee season. Swindon was chosen as the venue for the Middleton Cup Inter-County Championship Trials in 1990 and went on to stage these prestigious matches from 1990 to 1992. Swindon has provided Wiltshire with numerous Middleton Cup players over the years, and Howard Priss, still an active member of the club, having played in 88 Middleton Club matches. Such was Swindon's fine reputation that in 1990 it was chosen as the venue for the National Mixed Force Finals, which was sponsored by Liverpool Victoria and the Cancer Research Campaign. It was a huge honour for the club and members, putting a massive amount of work to ensure that the event went off smoothly and successfully. In more recent times, a Skittle Alley was added in 2002, which is used by one men's team, one women's team and a mixed team during the winter months. In addition, the club's alley has been used on several occasions as a neutral venue for the competitions reaching the latter stages. At this point, uh, I'd like to add a little bit to the history, uh, just using my notes here. Um, one member became a national coach. Uh, his name uh, was Barney Fernandez. Yeah, I'm sure that name rings a bell to those who are members of the Swindon Bowls Club. Other wor names were for mention is uh, Harry Howard Price. I think that is the correct pronunciation, and I just refer to him as Pris. So apologies for that. There's also Alan Woodland, who uh, held a national or holds a national position. Margaret Hobday, uh, Mike Jackson, not the, not the singer, Michael Jackson. Um, the club has achieved many trophies at both local and more national level, including the Middleton Cup. Uh, members of Swindon Bowls Club represented Wiltshire in 1986, where they won the Middleton Cup. And incidentally, Swindon Bowls Club is older than the Wilts Bowls Association, something of interest. So let's continue with the video. <laughs> Swindon Bowls and Social Club invites and welcomes new members. For bowlers, it offers social bowls, competition bowls and bowls coaching. Social members enjoy relaxed and friendly surroundings, a well-stocked bar with reasonable prices, darts, pool, skittles, bingo and occasional quizzes. There is ample parking provided. The range of club clothing consists of a shirt, sweatshirt, rain jacket, fleece-lined rain jacket and a tracksuit jacket. The rules of the game are defined in full in the official joint laws of the game booklet. All bowlers should familiarise themselves with these rules. In addition to the rules, a certain amount of etiquette is normally followed in order to make the game as enjoyable as possible for everyone. The guidelines offered should be noted by beginners and experienced bowlers alike. There might seem to be a rather a lot of points of etiquette, but they are all based on common courtesy, so they do become easy to remember. The club's Facebook page can be found by searching Facebook for Swindon Bowls Club, where all current activities will be available to view. There is also a Facebook closed group for club members. 
The club website contains a multitude of information about the club, including information for members, history, and the club's fixture list. There is no information available about the club's performance, though the website does contain a comprehensive fixture list without any results. So that's it for and part four of Swindon Sporting Heritage. Um, in the next edition, we'll feature another summer sport, that being cricket. So we'll be looking at Swindon Cricket Club. That's all for today. Um, do all the usual YouTube stuff, such as commenting, uh, liking or disliking. And um, if you're not a subscriber, probably aren't because most of the people watching aren't subscribers do hit that subscribe button that's very important for the success of this channel so i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and i'll be back again in the next edition of swindon sporting heritage see you soon and bye for now whoops i missed that one let's try again last chance there you are didn't knock down the take care again cheers bye